the grim reality was that nothing stopped the march of the Black Death. Not protection marks, charms, or plague doctors. But rather than taking this as proof that superstition and magic didn't work, people fought fire with fire. In one church, there's evidence that magic could be much more targeted, taking on evil at its own game. Matthew Champion has invited me to Norwich Cathedral to show me just how sinister things had become. So if I put the light on this, yeah. um, essentially this is the area we're looking at here. First of all, we have this uh, medieval text up here, but you'll notice it's actually it's upside down. Yeah, I can't read that. Yeah, it's, it's inverted. So we've got the letters K, A, Y, N, double F, O, R, D, um, which taken together make up the surname Cainford. Uh, it's an old Norwich family. And then down here, this other element is actually an astrological symbol. And in this case, we've got a, a combination of the symbol for the sun and the moon. Right, OK, so this teardrop shape. Yeah, and the other line that comes down just out of there as well. This is, believe it or not, a medieval curse. Wow, poor old Cainford. Absolutely. So you write someone's name backwards, upside down, you draw this astrological symbol, and that's going to send bad luck to the Cainfords. Maybe a lot more than bad luck. What's clear from these creepy marks is that magic is not just being used for defence. It's about attack as well. This was to bring down God's wrath upon these individuals. And here we are having this inscribed into the stones of a cathedral. These stones as well, of course, have been consecrated. They contain power in their own right. So it's almost directing that power against that individual. In case finding black magic in a church isn't bad enough, this curse has been carved in a place where only the clergy would have gone. We're in an area of the cathedral where mostly the public would not have had access to. Um, this is also clearly done by someone who was literate and very used to the writing arts. So this is clearly done by someone who's educated and someone who's educated enough to understand about a classical curse. So the chances are this has been created by a member of the cathedral community. So it looks like priests were offering the sacred power of the church building to supercharge their curses. The question, of course, is, did it work? Yeah. Are they all dead? Uh, they all died out of the 17th century, so who and knows? It took a while. But... It took a while. <laughs>